Can you think of the oldest item you've ever held in your hands? Maybe it's 20, 30, 50 years old. Well, how about something nearly 400 million years old? John for Go419 headed to Sylvania to experience hands-on history. In my never-ending journey to unearth Northwest Ohio history, as the blazing sun beat upon my brow, my path led me to an inconspicuous former quarry off of Centennial Road, where ancient history was literally right under my feet. But the more you look into the stone, particularly the shale, you start to see uh, lots of uh, brachiopods. Opened in 2000, the Olander Park System's Fossil Park offers kids and adults a chance to uncover and identify fossils about 375 million years old from the Devonian era. Back then, this area was actually an ancient ocean with active coral reefs. With rock piles provided by nearby Hanson Aggregate Midwest Quarry, the completely free activity gives you a chance to see, hold, and even take home these ancient ocean relics. The problem with the museum grade specimens, they're perfect. They have to be to be museum grade. Here you can take one that's half broken, it's still a nice fossil and keep it yourself. And a rule of thumb for finding a fossil here at Fossil Park is that if it's black or brown and on the ground, it's probably a fossil. Oh, Volunteer Thomas Merrick has been helping kids identify their findings since it opened. And along with letting kids do what they do best, getting their hands dirty, uncovering these pyrite and calcite crystal fossils is also teaching these kids about our region's past. It's something the kids love to do. He was just having fun running around and, and digging and, and finding new things, but it's uh, it's also teaches uh, children how to have uh, pay attention to detail. And though the five acre digging area can't be expanded upon, Olander Park System does have plans to add and improve Fossil Park in the near future. We do plan to put in um, a new entrance ramp and a new playground will be coming in the next couple of years as well as a picnic shelter to have gatherings. Reporting from Sylvania for Go419, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11. So my kids go there quite often and yeah. so I actually have a little collection of their findings <laughs> in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got these these explorers in your house. Well, they go for field trips and stuff, yeah. and I think it's kind of interesting. They 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 do gather and they look and they try to figure out which ones which kind, and and, and I think it's a really cool thing to have around here. Some budding Indiana Jones, some budding Ross Gellers. Who there knows? There you go. <laughs>